story called Last Day Blues. It's called Last Day Blues. Why? Why do you think it's called Last Day of the Blues? Last Day of what? Uh, what can you blues. What can you see from this picture? The school. The class. The yeah. teacher. Last Day of blues. School. School. So I'm going to read this book, and then I'm going to tell you about the project that we're going to be working on, okay? It can be for any grade. Last Day Blues by Julie Danberg and illustrated by Judy Love. Do you know who an author is? Yes. Who's the author? What does he do? Yeah, he or she, right? So it could be male or female. What about an illustrator? What do they do? The author writes the books and the illustrator draws the pictures. Okay. On a Monday, on a Monday morning, before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Miss Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friends, said Shen. I'm going to miss Miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joey. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school, even Daisy. That afternoon during recess, the students talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Miss Hartwell said she's going to miss us, said Alexandra, swinging from a bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. They said blues. What feeling or what emotion? Sad. Sad, right? It makes you feel sad. Depression. Depressed a little bit. I could give her the rest of my sandwich. Ooh. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh. Or a coffee cup. Or a new pen. The kind with feathers and beads. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea that they all agreed on. We'll think of something tomorrow. And he assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Miss Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm going to miss circle time, said Miss Hartwell. I'm going to miss science, said Emily. I'm going to miss seeing Miss Hartwell wear her safety goggles during science, said Jag, Jack, giggling. And so before they got to and so before they got too sad, Miss Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time, just for fun. Who does that remind you of? Mm -hmm. We definitely need to cheer Miss Hartwell up," said Andy during recess as he jumped out of his swing. "Any ideas about a present?" Andy asked. "No," they all answered back. On the Wednesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Miss Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time, but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm going to miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. I don't know whether to be happy or sad today, Andy said the minute they all arrived at the jungle gym. Miss Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plans, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year, said Dan. And that's when the idea zipped. Zip zapped and zinged through Eddie's brain. I know exactly what will cheer her up, Eddie said. Jumping down from the jungle gym, the class agreed. It was perfect. 
on the Thursday before the Friday that was the last day of school. Eddie raised his hand right after Ms. Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. And so Ms. Hartwell took down bulletin boards while her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, only once. On the morning of the Friday, that was the Friday, that was the last day of school, the students dashed into the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. They fed Daisy for the very last time. And as soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Miss Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. Okay, that's the letter, right? The last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendship true. Snack time and science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that, that play peekaboo. The year's been great, a big wahoo. There are many things to miss, it's true. But mostly, what we'll miss is you. you. And look, everybody signed and drew a little picture. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I think Miss Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps. Margaret said, poor Miss Hartwell. They all said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must take the last day of school. Do you think that's true? <laughs> I don't know. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Miss Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just you and me, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. But I can't wait for vacation. So was she sad? Nope. No, I think she was excited too, just like the kids. Okay. Now, say correctly, please. Last day blues makes you feel <coughs> sad. What else do you feel? Hmm? Excited because it's summer. What else? Over here. Over here. Honestly. Okay. How are you guys today? Good? Have a good day? Yes? Alright. So, no! Oh my goodness, well we're almost at the end of what? At the end of the school year, and then you guys won't be here anymore. It's not sad for me. It's so sad. Okay, so you guys remember that last week on Friday we read Last Day Blues? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what the story was about? No. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Last Day is like they're going. Yeah. Okay. Who's they? The kids. The students? Yeah, students, like last day of school. Last day of school. Yeah, what was happening? They're given, like, teachers. What they were they? They're teacher giving teachers. Like, like, like a big paper with, you know, nice words. A letter? Yes, a poster? Like, yeah, so they were. How were they feeling? I'm sad. Down. Kind of sad and down no, because. Have, the last day of school was coming. That was the last day of the week. So we're going to talk about the days and exactly what happened throughout those days, just to kind of summarize what the story was about. So last day blues. It says on Monday, do you remember the name of the teacher? Mm, nope. No. Miss Hart. Miss Hartwell. Miss Hartwell. So that's Miss Hartwell right there. She's taking attendance like normal. Does your teacher do that? Yeah. Yeah, your teacher takes attendance every day, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so the kids were like, oh man, this is the last day that she's taking attendance. And the teacher's saying, I'm going to miss all of you. So 
So on Monday, Miss Hart was already feeling kind of blue because she's already thinking that she's going to miss her student association. On these pages, we see that the students all agree. Some of them are saying, I'm going to miss my friends and uh, my friends. Another one is saying, I'm going to miss Daisy. The other one said, I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch. Who's going to miss some of the lunches from summer? I know I am going to miss the chicken. What are they called? The popcorn chicken that they serve. You guys don't like popcorn chicken? Oh, like you know, the like little chicken food. nuggets? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Nuggets, right. but yes. I know, I like that one. And look, this is Daisy. She's not feeling too happy either. I'll eat the wrong thing. Do you guys have a classroom pet? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. In their class, yeah. In what class? Miss Norton. Miss Norton. What kind of pet do you rats. guys have in there? They have rats, rats and um, hermit crabs. Are you guys not going to miss those? Nope. No. Nope. You are. I am. No. Yes. I am. We have they one that will. It's because they, they climb our Spider Man. Yeah. All right, and then all that day on Monday, Miss, uh, the kids were talking about it. They were like, wow, look, Miss Hartwell said that she's going to miss us. We should get a present to cheer her up. So that was one idea. The kids kept talking and talking about it. On Tuesday, it says that Miss Hartwell read the story out loud to her class for the very last time. And she said, I'm going to miss circle time. And then she goes into science. I'm going to miss science. And then it says that she wore her funny, what is she wearing? Goggles for the very last time. And we talked about how that resembles our classroom. Who does that for you? Myself. Who, who does that remind you of? Miss Norton. Norton. Norton, because she's your science teacher, right? Mm -hmm. As the days goes by, the students keep talking about different ideas and different things that they're going to miss throughout the, the school that they were able to do. And then finally, the Thursday before the Friday of the last day of school, we had a lot of ideas that the students were talking about as far as gift giving to the teacher. But what did they do in order to get down to one idea? What did they do? It says, on the Thursday before Friday, that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his hand and asked Miss Hartwell, can we have some? I don't know. Privacy. Privacy. What do you, what do you think they meant by having some privacy? Like not able to see. Just kind of talking amongst themselves, you know, kind of getting the ideas put together to see what it is that they were going to surprise her with. So Miss Hartwell, she was like, yeah, I'll finish cleaning my board while you guys talk. Friday came, the last day of school. They were all excited. They did their normal routines. They opened up the blinds. They picked up the trash that was on the floor. They were watering the plants, which is what they normally do. They unpacked, they checked their mailbox. And then, what happened? They gave her her surprise, and her surprise, so yes, Perseus, you were right. Her surprise was that they made her this big letter that talked about all the things that they're going to miss. But the most important thing that they'll miss is who? You. Miss Hart. Well, well Miss Hartwell. So Miss Hartwell is the most important thing that they're going to miss. Now that we talked about that, in front of you, you have a worksheet. And it's called Last Day Blues Venn Diagram. What I want you to do is I want you to write your name on the very top where it says name. In this Venn Diagram, we're going to write what, we're going to compare and contrast what our first day of school was like, what you can remember, to what you think your last day of school is going to be, and what similarities are there. So we know that in a Venn Diagram, first day of school things, we're going to jot them down on this side. Last of school, we're going to write them over here. And whatever's similar is going to go in the middle. You can talk about feelings. You can talk about things that you did the first day of school versus what you think you're going to do on the last day of school. So think about it. What are some things that you can remember that you did on the first day of school? Uh, we, um, 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 think in your brain. Um, um. We met the teachers. You met the teachers. So, can we all agree that we met the teachers for the very first time? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. 
Yes? So that's one thing that we can write. On the first day of school, and you guys can do bullet, bulletins, bullet points, bullet points. So that you can kind of see what each um, answer is going to be. So for example, on the first one, we can say we met, or I, sorry, I met my teacher. Mm -hmm. I met my teacher. What else happened on the first day of school that's different from the last day of school? Um, 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 so we met our teacher. We played games on the first day. Like games. Like icebreakers? I to kind of get to know each other? Nope. No, we no. didn't play that. You had social time? In well, order we to got get to, to know each other. Yeah. So we play, they're called icebreakers. We can write that, right? Yeah. Let's write icebreakers. So I play games me to know my new friends. You played games that helped you to get to know your new friends. What else did you do on the first day of school that's different from the last day of school? Did your schedules change? Nope. Yes? How did they change? Um, uh, mm, what was um, Friday? Oh. Earlier? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, oh yeah. Why? Why did you have to wake up at six now? To get to school versus now when you were at home? Yep. Okay. That's one change in your schedule. What about your school schedule? Um, that we have to be there by 7.15. Is that different? No. no. It's the same. So, if it's the same, can it go down here in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. So, we still have to arrive at school at what time? 7.15. So, I have to... So that's still the same. Can you give me an idea of what your last day of school is going to look like? Um, same, um, kids cry. School. You're going to see kids cry? Based on the previous years, okay, you've been here kinder, first, second, third, fourth, and this year fifth. I'm only going to miss my teacher. Mm -hmm. Some of you have. Some of you have been here since kindergarten. But based on those last days that you have already experienced, our friend here said that she's going to see some of her friends cry. So can we add that to our last day of school? Yeah. Yeah. So on the last day of school, I am going to see my friends upset because it's the last day of school. What else do you think is going to happen on the last day of school? Are you still going to be learning on the last day of school? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, right? But are you going to be testing or doing no. any, you know, learning stuff? No. no. So what do you think? You're going to have some free time? Yes. yes. Okay, on the last day of school, I'm going to have some free time. Yeah. On the last day of school, going 
to have free time. Free time you get to spend with your friends, you get to pick your own seats. No. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you get to do that already? Yeah. What else, what, what other idea comes to mind that you can compare your first day of school versus your last day of school? What else is the same? So we know that we have to be here at 7.15. What else is the same? Lunch is at the same time. Lunch is at the same time. <gasps> Switching classes. Switching classes is at the same time. So your schedule remain the same, right? Mm -hmm. So we can say my schedule So you'll still get to see the same teachers, you'll still get to do the same activities. It's just different because it's the last day of school. Mm -hmm. What else? Do we have any other ideas for the first day of school versus the last day of school? Nope. Anything else that comes to your mind? What is one thing that you want to do on the last day of school? I want like you to write that one thing down here at the bottom. What do you think, James? Free phones to school. Have free time on your phones? No. No. Well, James can write that down. That's what that's what he wants. So James, write that down on your paper. They might have it written. Yeah, I don't know. They might. Uh, what do you think? What else? What do you want to do on the last day of school? Not come to school. Not come to school? You want to skip nope. the day? Nope. What do you want to do? But we have to take all our stuff home. Huh? Not, not come to school, have the option to not be here? Yeah. On your last day of school? All of us could, um, yeah, play school. Play games? Yeah, that would be the last day of school. So have more free time? Yeah. What else? Um, what do you want to do on the last day of school? What do you want your teacher to let you do? Go to sleep. Take a nap? No, yes. have some nap time? Yes. What else, Viviana, what do you think? I don't know. Oh wait, no. Come on. Eat in the class. Eat in the class. In the class? That's a yeah, good one. Bring on. Have lunch in the classroom. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. On the last day yeah. of school, I would like to have, and then you tell me, what do you want to have on the last day of school? Oh. So I would lunch. like to have. You can write that. Mercedes, you gave us two two um, really nice options. Take a nap, have lunch in the class. Jamari instead allow us to play games. What about use of the tablets or the computers? No? Coloring, drawing? Adrian, what would you like to do on the last day of school? Bring your phone. Bring your phone. All right, once you have completed this, I want you to make sure that your name is on top of your worksheet. And, I'm going to pass out this. It's a short, news heart, um, Quiz. It's a short quiz to make sure that you guys are paying attention. You need to fill this in. And I'll collect your Venn diagrams once you're done. No, sir, you need to fill it in. It's all right here. Here. Okay. Keep it with you, James. What? I'm gonna switch the worksheet, okay? There you go. Oh, I know who that one is. Okay. I'll read the questions and the answers for you. If you know what to do, go ahead and start it. If not, wait for me. And if you're done, flip your paper. So number yes. one, it says, what is the teacher's name in the story? A, Miss Jackie. B, Miss Hartwell. <laughs> Or C, Miss Ramirez. What is the teacher's name in this story? A, Miss Jackie. B, Miss Hartwell. C, Miss Ramirez. Yeah, I'm good. Flip your paper. Number two. 
What day of the week is it when the story begins? A, the last day of school, B, Friday, or C, Monday? James, are you good? Are you good? Number two again. What day of the week is it when the story begins? A, the last day of school, B, Friday, C, Monday. Number three, what did the kids say they would get their teacher to cheer her up? A, a present, B, $100, C, an ice cream cone. I wish. <sighs> Jamari, you good on three? Oh, yeah. Number four, why do the students think their teacher is so sad? A, because her dog is sick, B, because she's going to miss school, C, because they didn't do their homework. Good on four. Number five, was their teacher excited about summer vacation? A, yes, B, no. Done? Make sure your names are on it. Um, wait, before you turn them in, Let's exchange them with the person in front of you. And let's go through the answers. Exchange with the person in front of you. Okay. What was the answer for number one? What was the teacher's name? Miss Hartwell. So if they have B on there, mm -hmm. mark it correct. Mm -hmm. Number two, what day of the week was it when the story begins? The last day. The last day. When the story oh, begins? Monday. It was on a Monday. I chose the last day of school. If they chose Monday, <laughs> mark it correct. If they chose the last day of school, it's wrong. That's because I didn't see. Because then they didn't show Monday. It started on Monday. Number three, what did the kids say they would get their teacher to cheer her up? What was the answer? A present. A, mark it right. Number four, what did the students think their teacher is so sad? A, because her dog is sick. B, because she's going to miss school. C, because they didn't do their homework. Number five, why do the students think their teacher is so sad? Because her dog is sick, because she's going to miss school, or because they didn't do their homework? Correct. B. B. Because she's going to miss school? Yeah. Yep. yep. That's correct. If they have B, mark it. God, yes. And then was their teacher excited about summer yes. vacation? Yes. Yes. Because she is going to see her family. When you're I don't done, right. who's broke? Mm -hmm. When you're done, just put them in the pile. Yeah, please receive. keep this pen. No. Thank you. I need you to return the pens to me, please. Yeah, don't forget them all right. Thank you. Pencils go back. Yeah, so Basket. I'll take oh, you. You're not lying. You're lying. You're lying. Grab a seat, please. Okay, you All right, James. I'll take your worksheet, James. I got a question. What are we gonna do that? Yes, we are. So, starting tomorrow, we're gonna move on to the project, the book project. So now that we're done with this, we'll start on that. Oh my god, what happened to that paper? I will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you in two hours.